Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to use the Take Recorder in Unreal Engine 5. And so I just want to start by saying that I think Unreal Engine is fantastic. But I have to say that UE5 has still got some bugs in it and it's uh, getting to be such a big program. There's a lot to it and they've changed quite a bit from 4.26 to this program or 4.27 to this program. So, But I'm going to try to show you as quickly as possible how to get your first shot get started with getting some cool shots out of this thing and i have to say that some of the renderings are are absolutely amazing like very photorealistic so what we're going to do is we're just going to create something like this just one single shot and then i figure once you know how to do one you can figure out the rest so i'm just going to stop it i'll just go ahead and create a new project and i'll show you some some wonky things going on here okay i'll just call this cine a thousand and one okay it comes in pretty good but i'm just going to show you some things that uh well i could talk for a long time but i don't want to talk forever on this so anyway the first thing we need is something to film and this mannequin that you see when you play the game this thing is not filmable just trust me on that one so what we're gonna do is we're, we need something that's filmable so we're gonna come here to mannequins we're gonna go to animation we're gonna go to Quinn there's Manny and Quinn are the new droids or androids in this thing and we're gonna get her just idle cuz I don't want to be following her all over the place and I'll just keep, put her popper in the scene like that right now here's where the first wonky thing so I would think okay well uh, last time I used Unreal I'll use the level uh, sequence uh, Thing. So I come in here to Window, go to Cinematics, Sequence Recorder. Oh, fantastic. Uh, what What did the IRS just hack me? <laughs> Red line. What is this? As of 4.26, Sequence Recorder is no longer supported by UE4 and will be removed from the engine in the near future. Once removed, you will no longer be able to run Sequence Recorder. Well, that doesn't sound good, does it? Please use Take Recorder. Okay. Well, that doesn't sound good, does it? It doesn't sound good at all, right? So anywho, you got to go into plugins here and you got to type in take recorder. So it sounds like maybe they're in the process of doing something, you know, and this is kind of the stop gap. I don't know. Now I want to save this idle because the program has to restart now. So the whole thing, the whole shebang starting all over again. But this time we have the so-called take recorder. So that's good. Okay, so we're back. Again, we have all this stuff. I don't know what all that is. I just, but uh, I can go to window here. Oh, look, what happened really is they came in with the take recorder loaded up. So we're already, I'm assuming that we're, we're good to go here, right? Because window take recorder is already up and running. Okay. So let's just click over here on the content browser. What is this? I'm not even sure how to close all this stuff out right here. I don't I don't really like all that taking up my window. So let's just go into perspective view. We're still stuck with it. I don't know why we're stuck with all that stuff up here. I don't know. Can I get rid of it right here? Okay, fantastic. Okay, so here we go. Now, there's our filmable ob person right there, Android or whatever. Okay, so all we got to do, and I'm going to try to make this as quick and simple as possible, is we're going to come to this camera icon. And that part, this part's simple. So now we're in pilot active mode, and this is basically just showing us how what the camera is seeing the camera is apparently pointed at the floor right now if you click this it shows you the whole scene and over here what the camera scene but just it might help you to get kind of oriented to look at it this way but just from my previous recent experiences i'm just going to stay in this view to keep things simple so to look around i can actually just use the regular navigation keys i'm just hitting the scroll wheel there here I'm just hitting the middle mouse button and I'm trying to, I'm trying to get, I'm hitting the, there we go, something like that. I'm just going to go down, 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 and then can I orbit up? I'm trying to look up. Okay, look at least straight ahead. I'm just trying to get a shot 
just straight like a pedestal up shot. That's it. Okay, this will get this will do it. This is good enough. Okay, so I'm positioned now, and I can kind of move around in the scene. And there, and there I am. Now the first thing I notice is we're horribly out of focus, and so there is a focus down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit. Let's get her into focus. So I can just click and drag this thing, and see she comes into focus I do want to say that the rendering engine out of this thing is really good so one of the things out of camera world is with this aperture we're gonna have a very narrow wall of focus so if we increase the aperture we'll have we can bring more thing more of the subject into focus so we might you might want to bump up the aperture there and now we've got it her it looks like in pretty good focus as far as I can tell and then there's this button over here. Oh, one thing I want to make sure is I want to make sure I'm on this track that I want to animate. I want to make sure of that. And just to lock this into position, because I don't want to change that, we'll just click here and it creates a keyframe, that little tiny circle right there. Now all we have to do, and we're almost done, believe it or not, is just click on transform here and we want to create a keyframe here and then there's this button up here and it says create key when channels properties change only automatically ends a key when there's already a track and at least one key so we have a track and we already have a key so i can i can click that so that just means rather than drag the playhead i think it's better just to hit this control and take it to the end now all we have to do is come over here to location transform make sure we're on the camera and just we're just going to go up boop 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 like that just that's our that's our shot it automatically created a keyframe, which is fantastic. So I would get in the habit of using these controls down here rather than clicking and dragging up here. We're gonna go back to the beginning and hit play. And there's our shot. That was pretty painless, right? Okay, so now all we have to do to render this out is we just make a folder on our desktop. Click here to render this movie and do not render as a AVI render as a PNG sequence. Pick a folder, you click those three dots, pick a folder on your hard drive somewhere, and hit capture movie. And that is it. I will be posting back later. I'm trying to do two or three Unreal tutorials a week. I'm really getting serious about the program right now. But uh, please uh, subscribe if you can, and I hope you found this helpful.